From a previous video, I briefly discussed about transportation systems in Munich. So today I'm going to discuss some more information about transportation systems in Munich with a special focus of spatial planning and sustainable transportation aspects of it. So here's the plan for today. First, we will discuss some of the best practices a city can incorporate to make the transportation more sustainable. Then we will go to a few places in Munich and see how things are actually implemented. The aim of the city should be to make the city from car dependent to car optional. Based on this aim, there are a lot of strategies a city can undertake. The cities that do not have safe and convenient ways for people to get around without using a car are limiting the freedom and access of the people who do not have that choice. So let's check the three strategies that I'm going to discuss today. The need to use a car increases if our destinations are situated beyond walking or cycling distance. So if the grocery store, shopping mall, school, bank, the restaurant that we usually hang out are situated near walking or cycling distance, the need to use a car can be reduced. This is the idea of having a mixed use. It will not cut down all the car trips, but indeed it can make a huge impact. A lot of research has been done in this area and it has been found that a 1% increment of land use mix will result in a decrease of 0.1% to 0.08% vehicle miles traveled. Promoting active transportation methods such as walking and cycling with a better public transport network will further reduce the need to use a car. Munich is already better in this aspect. The city has gone one step further to promote e-mobility. Limiting the parking space and increasing the parking cost can also be identified as a strategy to discourage the use of cars. Also in Munich, we can see some innovative internet-based solutions which are being used to optimize the available parking spaces. So let's see how things are actually happening in Munich. Munich is the third largest city and the second largest employer in Germany. According to the statistics, Munich's population has grown by nearly 33,000 residents in 2015 and due to this increasing trend, there's a high demand for housing in Munich. Domark Park is one of the latest housing projects initiated to cater this need. The land area was previously belonged to German military and was sold to the city of Munich in order to create housing for the residents. This housing project is developed with a mixed land use so that the number of trips generated from this new area can be kept minimum. This housing project is designed so that the residents can get most of their day-to-day -day work done without the need of traveling more. In a walking distance, you will find supermarkets, shopping centers, and a school, which will further reduce the need to make longer trips. Also, Domak Park is well connected with public transportation, U-Bahn and tram, so that the need to use a car is further reduced. Also, the streets are designed with wider sidewalks so that the streets are safe to walk for the residents and this will encourage walking and cycling. Also, in Domak Park, you can find a parcel delivery stations which act as the central delivery place. The idea is to replace the individual delivery of packages. With these initiatives, residents can select this station as the delivery address and the shipment can be picked during the opening hours. Also, I thought it would be worth to mention that a noise protection barrier is used in Domark Park as one end is located closer to a motorway. With this noise protection, it is made sure that the residents can live in their homes with the reduced noise levels. It is said that a noise barrier can reduce the loudness as much as 1.5 times. The topic e-mobility and car sharing are becoming more important. In 2015, the city council adopted the program to promote electromobility in Munich. One of the aim of this program is to support the market ramp up of electric vehicles. All the vehicles offered have a low hourly rate so that the short rentals are possible. Daily price has also been introduced so that the residents can plan some longer trips. The best part is that the e-bikes and the electric cars at the mobility center at the Domark Park drive carbon dioxide free. They are fueled directly by the sun. The photovoltaic plant produces approximately 170 kilowatt hours per day on an annual average. The remaining solar power covers a large part of the electricity requirements of the household appliances and for general purposes of the building. In this way, it can be ensured that driving of these e-vehicles are carbon dioxide free. In addition, the emissions of dust particles are also reduced. 
From Domak Park, let's go to Marian Platz and see how walking and public transportation works in the most densed area of a city. Marian Platz is the central square in Old Town, Munich's urban heart, and the central point of the pedestrian zone. Marian Platz has been recognized as Munich's central plaza since the city was founded and is surrounded by a multitude of historic buildings. Some of the most famous of these monument and buildings are the beautiful new town hall and Marian Column. Back then, the square was known as the Market Square, a central gathering space for farmers and artists looking to sell their crops and produce, making it the primary commercial hub in the city. In the first few centuries, approximately 100 by 50 meter large area was used as the central marketplace. Marienplatz gained international recognition as an important tourist destination in Munich during 1972 Olympics when the square was promoted as a pedestrian area. Since then, many popular venues have popped up. Additionally, Marienplatz serves as the starting point to one of the Munich's primary shopping avenues, Kaufingertrasse. Car access is restricted in Marienplatz. At the same time, you can find better public transportation connection to Marienplatz so that the accessibility is easier. All the S-Bahn lines intersect with the U-Bahn lines U3 and U6. The station is one of the most frequently used stations in the network, with up to 24,400 people transferring and 8,000 passengers entering or exiting each hour. In 2007, 175,000 passengers use the station daily on weekends, including entries, exits, and transfers. The average parking fee in Munich is around 3 to 4 euros per hour. Since parking space is too few and parking prices are too high, a new parking strategy has been introduced as a remedy for the everyday drivers. One of these new mobility concepts is the parking service Park U application. Since the design of the new housing projects such as Domark Park does not offer much parking spaces, Park U app helps to bring together the parking owners and searchers in a digital marketplace. Not only limited to Domark Park, with this app, car drivers can find parking spaces over 30 countries throughout Europe with over 6 million parking spaces. So these are some of the best practices which Munich City has initiated to change the travel behavior and make the transportation systems more sustainable. In this video, we looked at mixed land use, sustainable mobilities, and parking solutions. So what are the sustainable transportation strategies practiced in your city? You can comment on the comment section below. And if you think this video is useful, and if you need more information about public transportation in urban areas, you can subscribe to my channel. And we'll meet soon with another video.